Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. In the world of cryptocurrencies, Elon Musk isn't merely a bystander. He has a substantial interest in XRP and is an active participant. This is in perfect harmony with the actions of huge financial institutions like JP Morgan and BlackRock, which have accumulated more than 7.5 million XRP apiece. And this is important information for you to have. Everything I'm telling you today is backed by concrete evidence, such as leaked videos and photos. I was personally provided with these materials. As an example, a newly leaked video showing Elon Musk shows that he is experimenting with XRP. With all these developments, the value of XRP might climb to $10,000 a piece in a few years. The anticipated increase is a result of the increasing number of global partnerships, particularly between Ripple Labs and a number of well-known financial institutions. One such organization is a well-known asset rental corporation on a global scale. If you want to know more, watch today's video. Lately, there has been a deluge of leaks, some more rapid than others, but all of them have good evidence to back them up. First up, we have this fascinating graphic that shows Elon Musk's capacity to move a staggering 16.7 million XRP from his main account to several sub-accounts, with each sub-account transferring 5 million XRP to a different wallet. But that's merely scratching the surface. Looking at the larger picture, the importance of these developments becomes strikingly apparent. As more and more financial institutions, including illustrious names like BlackRock and JP Morgan, adopt the XRP ledger and form partnerships with Ripple Labs, the landscape is changing at a rapid pace, even affecting the International Settlement Derivatives Association. ISDA fully supports the decision to officially recognize Ripple Labs as a partner. The demand for XRP coins will inevitably rise as a result of this massive infusion of wealth into the XRP ledger. With demand skyrocketing and supply falling sharply, the value of XRP might skyrocket. In fact, some experts are projecting a price increase of $10,000 per XRP. Companies across a wide variety of sectors, including banking and real estate, are beginning to realize the potential in XRP for use in a variety of financial applications, including rentable assets and more. The expansion of XRP's potential applications is going to change the game for cryptocurrencies in several fields. Assuming major players such as BlackRock and JP Morgan acquire more than 7.5 million XRP, XRP is almost ready to turn its users into millionaires. Institutional interest is clearly expressed. This investment is not haphazard. With XRP, these banking tycoons are either on to something revolutionary or paving the way for a worldwide CBDC. All of these things, plus the fact that the XRP ledger is the foundation of the central bank's digital currency system, are coming together to make XRP worth tens of thousands of dollars. You might think it's incredible that a coin with a value of 59 cents could reach $10,000. Everything makes sense after you've done your research. The technology behind XRP is the main attraction for many, including myself. However, for this technology to work, a high value of XRP is necessary. Simply put, XRP is about to play a pivotal role in a worldwide wealth transfer involving sums in the quadrillions. The combination of increasing demand, decreasing supply, and this enormous infusion of cash into XRP positions it for an unprecedented surge in value. This situation needs to be addressed. Although some may find the prospect of XRP surpassing $10,000 unrealistic, it is actually a highly probable result. Occasionally, it's helpful to be reminded of the possibilities that come from comprehending the foundations of these technologies and the dynamics of the market. Charles Hoskinson is starting to see the big picture when it comes to the SEC's corruption, and I can't wait to share his findings with you. The so-called ETH gate and the obvious conflicts of interest involving Jay Clayton, Bill Hinman, and Gary Gensler have been a topic of discussion on this channel for some time now even while the SEC appears to be concentrating on CZ and Binance. Given Sam Bankman-Fried's apparent ties to Gary Gensler, many feel they should have looked into him instead. A subpoena to examine these encounters appears to be necessary if we want to find out the whole picture. Recall that a few months back, 
Charles Hoskinson, came along with us to explore each gate. As we spoke, he conveyed his sympathies and comprehension for the XRP community's struggle to comprehend the scope of the S-Gate issue. We must all be reminded that Hoskinson is beginning to notice the difference in treatment of ETH and Bitcoin compared to XRP and others, including ADA. These wins aren't just for Ripple, they signify a victory for the entire crypto space, following the major victories against the SEC. An important part of this success has come from this community. I think we are one of the most influential communities, even though we don't always get the credit we deserve. Listen up, for when they do, claiming it to be a security, all right, then, what on earth does that imply? What if it's distributed? By what means is Bitcoin registered? Oh, and please, instead of treating me like a five-year-old, explain to me what the fucking difference is between Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano, and then show me how the goddamn Howey test verifies it. Please explain will the goddamn orange pill moon boys be back? You can see it. You may look at this from a variety of angles and on various planks. The hash power mechanism allows for a 51% attack on Bitcoin, which may be achieved by subpoenaing and attacking three separate corporations. However, it appears to be decentralized, and Team Orange is given full credit. It's insultingly bad. It's a very pitiful joke. The industry has wasted hundreds of millions of dollars on legal fees in this pointless battle, and it would be comical if it weren't for that. Additionally, they will continue to lose legal cases, just as they have in the past. And eventually, it will come to a halt. There will be no restitution of funds and no expression of regret. Similar to how we dealt with the Kennedy assassination, we will simply proceed. Just as we did with Vietnam, we will simply proceed. Similar to our actions in Iraq and Afghanistan, we will simply proceed. Just like we are doing with COVID right now, we will simply move on. Just as we have done with every event in the past 50, 60, or 70 years in American history, we will simply go on. This can't continue. It must end, I swear. What gives libertarians my praise? It appears that the individuals responsible for dismantling the government are the only ones who believe in a solution to the problem. No longer is it held responsible. Victims are human beings. Nothing changes because they get away with it and simply go on. I've had enough. I feel that people in our field are sick of hearing about IT. Cryptocurrencies did not come into being just because someone had the bright notion to put tokens on the internet. Cryptos came into being because people are banding together to fix the social contract, which has been disastrously shattered. The current leadership isn't doing their jobs right if they aren't elected, aren't held to account, and never have to demonstrate to the people who put their faith in them that they're improving our lives. And even when they make a mistake, it doesn't affect them in the slightest, in fact, they may even be promoted or elected to a higher office. Furthermore, as a civilization that is not a people's government, we must just proceed. Made for the people, by the people. That is quite different. That appears to be far more similar to the thing that we revolted against when we established this damned nation. It is you. You can tell that Charles Hoskinson is being quite serious when he talks about the future of the cryptocurrency industry and the United States. It's a sobering warning that the United States will inevitably fall apart if corruption continues to impede the advancement of ideas, business formation, and the fundamental principles that gave rise to the nation. The SEC seems intent on proving that Binance and its founder CZ were involved in FTX-like fraud, but Gary Gensler's response to the FTX scandal involving Sam Bankman-Fried was non-existent, and his silence in the face of significant crypto industry frauds is ear-piercing. Serious concerns are raised by the selective enforcement that targets firms like Ripple, despite their years of rigorous compliance. Despite claims of public safety being advanced in the name of economic parity, it seems more like laying the groundwork for digital currency controlled by a central bank to stifle equal opportunity. CBD oil Even though Elizabeth Warren doesn't like cryptocurrency, she isn't opposed to a CBDC, as her recent remarks demonstrate. It's a disturbing trend that fits in with the agenda of those in charge, a system where our tax dollars really work against us. 
we are essentially confronted with this issue. Our nation's misfortune is plainly visible. We must ensure that all individuals comprehend this. In a move that echoes the founding of the United States, the cryptocurrency sector was born out of a desire to resist authoritarian government policies. It was a rebellion against despotism that gave rise to the United States, as Charles Hoskinson said. Our nation's success for so long rested on this spirit of rebellion, but now it feels like America has lost its way. The crypto community has been missing a key piece of information, and I am here to fill you know, ladies and gentlemen. We are approaching a turning point for XRP, a time of transition if you will, and it is critical that everyone understands this. An increase in its price is only one aspect of this. XRP's enormous acceptance in the real world is almost upon us. Do not assume that I am a certified financial planner, I do not. For your pure amusement, these films include explicit content. Viewers should always do their own research and talk to experts before making any kind of financial choice, as I always stress. Much obliged for your presence. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you found it entertaining. See you later, bye.